through them because I, I just felt maybe for the last month or two that people are writing off Clare and I don't think you can ever do that. We're in a big battle on, on Monday but the one thing I can tell you is the lads are prepared and are ready and we're hopefully going to sock it on Monday. Davey, you came down here two years ago, it's hard to believe it's just two years ago since, since you've arrived, but I, I'm sure um, it has been heartening for you the way the players and indeed the supporters have rode in behind you. Um, to tell you the truth, um, after the first year I was wondering with all the journey in, because you leave home at half two in the day and you don't get back till half twelve at night and it's a tough commitment, but, but I have to say uh, I absolutely love it down here and I really enjoy the people and if it wasn't for that I don't know if I'd still be there because it's a tough job in itself but you need the support of everyone and I have to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart it's, it's nice to be nice and I think that's very important and that all that I can promise to the people is that I do my best for Warford and trust me I give it everything I have yes. Davy, the uh, turnaround in Warford fortune over the last two years minor under 21 but one thing that you've encouraged is introducing new players on, onto the panel that's, that's really been your mantra in the, this year in the National League introducing a lot of new talent to inter-county hurling yeah, I'm, I believe I was getting a lot of stick last year in different games, and um, a, a lot of reason was people were saying you should be taken off this lad. He wasn't playing well or that. You have to give everyone a chance. If you don't give them a chance, you won't get to their true potential, and that might mean sticking with them for a, a game or two during the league where they're not playing well here. And um, I think it's important. There is serious talent in Marford, but they just need a chance to break through and. I, I'd be very certain that the future of Watford will be very secure. Last night was a downer, but there's only one way to bounce back, and we'll be trying hard on Monday to set that right. Finally, David, you mentioned earlier, uh, obviously, when the draw was made, Watford against Clare, you're here two years. So far, we've avoided playing Clare the championship. Big day on Monday. How difficult has it been for you? Because, obviously, your dad is county secretary, well-known county secretary in Clare, but you're a Clare man at heart, but definitely you've given 110% to Watford. Um... It, it's difficult. Um, I was talking to a few lads that are night at a function I was at, and they said, "Geez, when you were playing for Clare, we really hated you. We're <laughs> unreal, you know." And um, when I was playing for Clare, I wanted to win more than Anton, and I would do Anton to win. I give it my all. But it's now changed the other way. I'm down here, and you can trust me. Um, everything I know, or every little trick I can pull on Monday, I'd be doing it. Is it difficult? I haven't talked to my, my dad in two weeks, so I haven't. Um, my best friend who's doing a bit of electrician and work on my house, I haven't seen him in two weeks. He's a selector in the Clare team, and then um, Sparrow, who I was in business with for five years as the manager, so it's pretty interesting times there, but um, there's only one thing on my mind, and that's really more than anything for Warford to win on Monday. Finally, we have an Abbey Sideman on the panel, Richie Foley. Will Richie be seen action on Monday? Um, I shouldn't be saying anything about the team, but Richie will be playing on Monday, and I'm looking forward to it. He's a great young fella, and he more than deserves his chance, you know. Davy, on behalf of everyone here, wish you the players the very best on Monday, and thanks for taking time out. I know it's a hectic weekend, Monster Championship, particularly against Clare. But uh, for Jerry and the family, obviously, it's huge here today, and Leo, your good friend, your, your golfing partner, I know when you put that call through to you, you told me you just couldn't refuse Leo. Yeah, um, like I, I wouldn't be gone and doing this before the championship because your focus has to be on the championship completely. And but um, Leo has been very good to me. And when he rang me and said to me, I couldn't say no. And that's for definite. If someone is nice to you, you have to be nice back. And Leo is very good to me. And I'd like to wish Jerry, his family, and all the staff the very best here. It, it, it's lovely to see this occasion, and I hope it goes really well. Ladies and gentlemen, David Fitzgerald, and best of luck to David. The hurlers are Monday.